I am thrilled to have reached the Savoie Mont Blanc region of the French Alps. Early morning and every evening, the 120 goats of the Farm des Cabrettes in Salange are milk for the production of one of the most delicious but little known Alpine cheeses called Chevrotin. Dominique, the cheesemaker, is very dedicated and makes the little wash wine fromage with unpasteurized milk twice a day, seven days a week. The molding of the curd using cloth over rings is fascinating and the shaping of the young cheese requires experience. A kilo weight is placed on the newly formed cheeses for a few hours to remove excess moisture. The white goat cheese is then kept on a board in a cool place. Il faut environ 3 litres de lait pour faire un fromage de 300 grammes. Ce fromage doit rester sur l'exploitation pour affinage dans nos caves trois semaines. The cheese is turned regularly for even maturation. Once ripe, the chevrotin is placed on a thin ring of wood made from a spruce tree and wrapped for good keeping. It is only my second time of tasting this artisan cheese. Il est juste comme il faut pour le déguster. Mm. J'aime beaucoup. The goats have done their job and are taken up the mountain for a treat of fresh grass and flowers. Down in the town of Salange, the Saturday Farmers Market is a delightful Alpine experience of many regional specialties and it is a thrill to see the stand of La Ferme des Chevrettes selling the Chevrotin. I buy a slice of locally breast ham and tiny roast potatoes for my lunch. The morel mushrooms from the forest are just in season. I can imagine yabbies hiding under the rocks of the fast-flowing Arve River. These yabby and truffle turnovers are a special occasion treat. I begin by cooking a chopped shallot in butter and stir in half a tablespoon of vinegar and a mix of carrots, celery and mushrooms all cut into fine julienne strips. Season with salt and pepper and cook until the vegetables are just done. Next, I gently mix in some cooked yabbies, then transfer to a dish to cool. I brush the edge of four thin rounds of puff pastry with a little egg yolk and spoon two yabbies and some cooked vegetables in the center of the pastry. I top with a good pinch of small truffle sticks. Together with the vegetables, the truffle adds a magic touch to this dish. I fold the pastry to trap the filling inside. I seal the edges, brush the top with some egg yolk and make a light crisscross pattern on top using a fork. It takes about 20 minutes to cook in the oven at 200 degrees. These chaussons d'écrevisse au truffes are amazingly delicious. Tomorrow we are still in the Savoie Mont Blanc region to discover the delicious charcuteries. <laughs> <laughs>